I'm gonna attempt to explain quantum physics using a cheese slice. It's actually a vegan cheese because we're like half vegan. <laughs> this is like the only vegan cheese that tastes decent. Explaining quantum physics using a slice of cheese. Physics is the observation of the laws of matter and energy at a macro scale. So like the gravity of that cheese falling. Let me get a little bite of that. Quantum physics is the study of how light and matter behave on a very, very small scale, like tiny, tiny atomic scale. Physics, big world, quantum physics, extremely small world. Quantum comes from the Latin meaning how much. It's a field that really birthed in the early 1900s. Things get really weird when you go into that small world. They behave a little differently than our natural big world, and they can be quite counterintuitive, which is why Richard Feynman said, if you think you understand quantum physics, you don't. It's a weird thing to say, because we use quantum physics for a lot of things that require a lot of precision, like atomic clocks on our GPS and many other things. We do actually have a pretty good grasp of, of quantum physics and how it works, but at the same time, how things work in the small world is so counterintuitive, or not even the small world, but the world that makes up our physical world, things behave really weirdly. Cool, I have good cheese. <laughs> Where should we start? Maybe the cheese. Oh, the cheese, yes, the cheese. Can we start with the absurdity first of all? I'm gonna eat this whole cheese. Is that your second cheese? That ain't my first cheese. <laughs> yeah. You get weird things that occur. One of those weird things is called time tunneling. Time tunneling is when you get a weird thing that occurs. One of those weird things is called tunneling. When you get really small, particles can do things that they wouldn't be able to do or you wouldn't be able to observe them on a large scale. For example, quantum tunneling is equivalent to this cheese being able to go through this spaghetti squash and end up on the other side of it. The cheese can tunnel through a barrier like a spaghetti squash. So that's a weird property. Once you get that small, things can start tunneling through things or barriers they shouldn't be able to. You have quantum entanglement. It's a really weird one. Two particles become entangled, like these two cheese slices, where they meet and get into some sort of relationship. <laughs> two connected cheeses. What happens to one affects the other, no matter how far apart they are, instantaneously, faster than the speed of light, which was thought to be impossible. Pretty, pretty much like, if I had one cheese slice right here, and then I had one cheese slice over here, and I bit this cheese slice, This cheese slice would be bit at the same time. Are you filming this just so you can eat a bunch of cheese? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Entangled. You got the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which pretty much describes the more you know about the momentum, the less you know about the location. This is kind of a weird thing to describe with cheese. How do I describe this? <laughs> the faster this cheese was going in that direction, <laughs> the less I know about where it is. <laughs> and also weirdly in quantum physics, the single act of observing something affects its measurement. There's this weird study called the double slit experiment. I would like to do a whole another video on this. It is like really trippy. They found the particles and light behave both like a wave and like matter or a particle. They have wave properties and they have physical properties. That I could go super deep into. <laughs> I'd like, yeah, I'd like to do a whole other video on like the double slit experiment, because that's crazy. Some call superposition, <laughs> where things can exist in multiple states at the same time. It's like this cheese being both melted into a liquid and being solid at the same time. <laughs> yeah, superposition exists in multiple states at the same time until it's measured, then it collapses. It's a whole other video. So that's pretty much it. It's like the most simplified version of quantum physics that I can explain using a cheese slice. Um, if you'd like me to go further in depth, I'd highly recommend studying the world of quantum physics because though it's weird and wacky, it's actually the foundational laws that make up everything that we experience. Thanks for watching.